Good day, mates. Did you just start live streaming recently? Are you a seasoned live streamer? Well, today's video is for you. We will talk about Twitch versus YouTube versus Kick versus other platforms. Where should you stream this year? A little bit about me. I started live streaming in 2021. My first ever platform was Twitch. I have now, or I have been, on most of the live streaming platforms. I had some ups and downs, and I'm still here. In this video, we will analyze platforms based on ease of use, discoverability, monetization and services and integrations availability i want to say straight off the bat unless you have a huge community stick to the top of platforms small streaming platforms do not last long we have all seen last year prime and glimash that filled miserably Trovo that despite is a great platforms to be part of it doesn't seem to be growing fast enough for any new or small creator to be focusing on if you have a huge community you may lose a few viewers but practically you can stream anywhere you want Let's start with TikTok. You can live stream today, but you can only do so via TikTok Studio. Aside from my personal opinions about the software, if you do want to multi-stream there, keep in mind that your PC and or laptop would have to encode two different streams what does it mean your pc would have to use extra resources only to multi-stream on tiktok however once you have reached 1000 followers on tiktok you can apply to get a stream key that you can use with obs studio or any other broadcasting software and or multi-stream service like Restream, Live Push, StreamYard. Therefore, I would not recommend anybody with small following to live stream on TikTok. Now, for the three biggest live streaming platforms, Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. Kick is the newest of the three and it feels very, very much like Twitch. The only difference that I can see is branding colors from purple to green. It's very easy to go live and to monetize. You only need to reach 75 followers and at least live stream for five hours on kick. Once you get monetized, you have access to a 95 to five split revenue on your subscriptions, which is the highest that you can get as of now with the top platforms. On the other hand, you will find a lot of gambling content on the platform and live streaming services like chatbots and integrations are very scarce at the time that I'm recording this video. Yes, I know Botrix and Kickbot are working on a solution, but it's very, very minimal. If you learned anything right up to this point, like the video, leave a comment down below, even your favorite emoji works, 
and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Twitch is the number one gaming live streaming platform. It has great community and high compatibility with services and integrations. It has vertical and landscape content, much like YouTube, not really like YouTube, but at least the content format is the same. <laughs> and it's very very easy to go live once you get monetized which means that you have 50 followers and at least three average viewers you get access to a 50 percent to 50 percent revenue split on subscription while i was recording this video a couple of days ago Twitch announced changes to monetization. By the way, watch my latest video and some of the latest shorts. I kind of called it. I didn't know. I promise I didn't know, but I kind of called it. Right up until a couple of days ago, there was a Partner Plus program, which means if a partner has... 350 subscribers or more get access to a 70 30 split on revenue from subscription now the partner plus program has been rebranded and changed to plus program huge for us because you don't have to be a partner to qualify and the threshold has been lowered. If you have 100 sub points within three months period, so for the whole three months, you get access to a full year of 60 to 40% revenue split on subscription. And if you have 300 sub points, not 350 anymore, 300, you get access to the 70%, 30% revenue split. How do sub points work? You get one point for tier one subscription, two points for tier two subscription, and three points for tier three subscription. Now, keep in mind that Prime subscription and gifted subscriptions do not count towards the goal. With this move, Twitch has also removed the $100,000 cap. Not that it's easy to achieve, but I'm sure who earned $100,000 on Twitch is a top earning creator they have been complaining to twitch and or they left the platform to go to youtube or kick therefore twitch has rectified straight away because they are the people that make most money for twitch so of course you gotta take care of them on the other hand twitch has still a very very low discoverability if you only make content on Twitch. Yes, they've had the stories. Yes, they have a clip feature, but it's still not enough of exposure for small streamers. Now, YouTube, please listen to this. YouTube is the second search engine in the whole world with 2.7 billion monthly users at the time that I'm recording this video. If you make great content with a great thumbnail and a great title, YouTube has a high discoverability for anyone. In order to live stream on YouTube from mobile, you need to have at least 50 subscribers for people who are over 18 years old and 1,000 subscribers minimum if you are between the age of 13 and 17. Hold on right there. 
I'm talking about streaming from your mobile. If you're streaming from a laptop, from a console, from a PC, there are no minimal requirements. So even if you have zero subscribers, you can start live streaming today with the streaming key. Let's face it, live streaming from a PC where you have access to software like OBS Studio, it's a lot better. To get monetized on YouTube is actually the hardest in the list of the platforms that we're gonna cover today. Yes, recently they lowered the requirements, but still, it is much more than the other platforms. You need at least 500 subscribers and 3,000 hours of watch time within the 365 days period. Not from the 1st of January to the 31st of December, 365 days period. If you want to fully monetize, including AdSense, you need to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the 365 days period. Once you access monetization, you have subscriptions that are called memberships on YouTube. And the revenue split on those is 70% to you and 30% to YouTube. On top of that, you can access AdSense, which is basically the ads that you see on YouTube. And depending on which type of content you make and how many views you get on your content, this will determine how much money you get from the ads, basically. Type of content and how many views. And also the duration of your video and or live stream. In regards to services and integrations, at the time that I'm recording this video, YouTube is not as well regarded as Twitch, but the more we go on, the more YouTube is closing the gap between them and Twitch. So there will be a lot more services available and integration available for YouTube in the near future. I wanna add that YouTube, yes, you can live stream on YouTube, but you can also make shorts, which is short form vertical content. You can do uploads, so videos, basically edited videos, and you can do podcasts all on the same platform with the 2.5 billion users per month. So YouTube all around has more to offer. With that said, as mentioned earlier, this is very important guys, great content, great thumbnail, and great titles. Now that you know all of this, the question remains, where should you stream this year? My recommendation would be multi-streaming. Live stream on YouTube, Twitch, kick at the same time. But keep in mind that you cannot show multi-chat, so the chat from all the platforms on your live stream. Because Twitch has threatened to ban streamers if they use multi-chat on their stream. I understand where they're coming from because Twitch seems to be a bit more strict when it comes to moderation compared to other platforms. So to solve that issue, just have your multi-chat outside of the broadcasting software on your desktop or just pull it up on your mobile. Easy done. And also, while you multi-stream, take some time and learn how to make content on YouTube based on your passions. Yes, what you're passionate about and how to deliver the content on YouTube because ultimately, YouTube as mentioned earlier, it's got a lot more to offer than other platform just based on the discoverability is inbuilt. 
with the algorithm. Hold on before you close this video. I'm sure you will like this video next. Until next time, hooroo mates.